But first, I want to give Dave and Nigel Senses a wake-up call. Get those on. <laughs> yeah. Up. Got to really rely on your taste buds. Now, how not to run a restaurant. Rule number four. If your chefs can't distinguish between heavenly and hellish food combinations, okay. then your What's customers won't be coming back for mm. more. Dave, what can you taste there? Uh, no, uh, baz basil. What about something meaty? It's like very rare beef. Yeah. Watch my fingers, please. Remember this one? Dave's signature dish. Even my six-year-old daughter would know this is a culinary calamity. Dave, talk to me about that one. What, what flavours can you identify straight away? Cheese. Yeah. Pineapple? Yeah, pineapple cheese. Right. Think what it is. Is it like a shellfish? Fish? Like a scallop. When you brush your teeth in the morning, do you use toothpaste or cigarettes? Because you've got a mouth like a cow's backside. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Good. Olive. Tomato. Do those flavours work together? Yeah, they do. Yeah. They definitely work together. Yeah. One of my favourites. Yeah. Ready for the last one? The evil salmon and strawberry starter. Open wide. That Dave swears is so popular mm -hmm. on his menu. Mm -hmm. First of all, nice. Would you be happy to pay money for that? No, not this, no. On that one, I, I wouldn't. Not to my taste, no. It no. doesn't work for me. It doesn't ne work for me. Nectarine and pork. <laughs> okay, take the fucking blindfolds off. That last <laughs> stick had your salmon and strawberries salmon? and fucking Fuck watercress on there. <laughs> yes? Yeah. If it doesn't work in your fucking palate, what chance has it got? Working in a restaurant. Yeah. Point taken? Very much so. Very, uh, yeah. very constructive, that. Dear, oh dear, oh dear.